Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So uh, in this video, we're gonna explore the 3D environment in RGIS Pro. So now in the table of content section, you can able to visualize uh, a layer called countries, which represents our country's boundary layer. So we're gonna export this 2D layer to the 3D scene in RGIS Pro. And now we're gonna convert it to convert this uh, to a global scene. So for that, we're gonna navigate to this option called view. In that, we're going to click this option called Convert. In that, we're going to select this option called To Global Scene. So now we are uh, in Global Scene. So now here, you can able to notice how we can see all the countries on one side of this globe. So you can able to take a look at this. Just click the left click and drag this. So you can just move around the entire globe so now here in the table of uh, in the content section you can able to visualize we have uh, three group layers named as 3d layers and 2d layers and elevation surfaces so here you can able to visualize the topographic base map as placed in the 2d layer group when the project was created that is converted to a global scene. So the topographic layer is placed in the 2D layers. And also here you can able to observe the country layers also placed in the 2D layers. So now here the third layer represents the elevation surfaces which represents the ground. So in the global scene uh, we can't remove the ground surface but you can replace its elevation uh, source. And also you can uh, add an additional custom elevation surfaces. So the examples of the custom elevation surfaces includes the that defines the the depth of uh, geological stratum, or uh, one that defines the the height of the or the height of the restricted space. So now let us take a look at the elevation. Uh, we can take a look at this uh, world elevation uh, 3D properties. So to do that, we can double click this. So now a new window pops up saying elevation source properties. So here the general is the name of this particular uh, world elevation 3D and we can click the source and this is our source of this particular uh, world elevation 3D. It is from RGIS. So now in the spatial reference you can just uh, see the uh, projected coordinate system here. It is WGS 1984 with Mercator. You can uh, view the details here and the geographic coordinate system. So now let me uh, close this. So now uh, let me turn this the countries layer. So you can able to visualize the the different countries in the global scene. So we can start to see more than a, a globe with a flat topographic uh, base map and a flat country. Shape file being dragged on it. So this is our shape file. So now we're going to click this uh, particular layer called countries. And now navigate to this option called appearance. So now here we're going to navigate to this option called Extrusion. In that we're going to select this option called a Type, the feature Extrusion Type. So now let me uh, click this down uh, this arrow button here. And here I'm going to select this particular option called Absolute Height. So the, uh, the feature is extruded to a specific value as a flat top. Now let me select this uh, Absolute Height. So now here, uh, you don't need to worry about only some part of the many countries being uh, uh, shaded at the moment. So you can able to view that here. So now I'm going to navigate to the option called field here. So you're going to click this down arrow. So in that, we're going to select the, so we're going to select this particular field called population rank. So the units will be in uh, kilometers. And now uh, we're going to click this option called the, the extrusion expression. Set the extrusion height based on the expression. So we're going to click this. So once you did that, a uh, window pops up saying expression builder. And now here in the expression part, you can able to observe the feature dot, the population rank. I'm going to multiply by 30. So for that, let me add a space here. So we are uh, using feature.pop rank that is population rank and multiplying by 30. 
So what I'm doing here is to take the polygon for each country and they have the value in their population rank field which is between uh, 1 to 18. Then I'm going to uh, use that value be multiplied by 25 to determine how many kilometers to extrude the each country. And uh, there is nothing special about uh, why the population rank field was chosen and uh, or why I multiplied by uh, multiplied by 30 and uh, not another number. So other than that, uh, they enabled me to create a 3D layer from the country's layer, which you will see when I click uh, click the OK button. So now let me click this. So now we're going to visualize it in 3D. So previously our country layer was in uh, as a flat surfaces, flat surfaces, and now it has been displayed in uh, 3D. You can able to view that here. Let me show you here. We can left click and drag. So you can able to visualize the countries in 3D here based on our population rank field. So now uh, you can able to notice that uh, how extruding the, the countries uh, has moved it into a 3D layer group. In the content layer, you can able to take a look at this. The country's layer was previously was in 2D layer and now it has been exported to, to the 3D layer section here. You can able to see that the country's layer is currently in 3D layers. Previously it was in 2D layer. So now here in the bottom uh, left corner, you can able to visualize uh, a navigator tool. So you can basically use this navigator tool to uh, move this globe. Also, you can uh, use your left click on your mouse and drag. You can visualize it uh, here. And also, you can uh, zoom in and zoom out using your scroll button. So, uh, using your mouse, you can uh, zoom in and zoom out. And also, you, see, you can use your scroll, but hold your scroll button to tilt this. So you can use your uh, scroll button to tilt it just by holding your scroll button. And suppose if you want to know the details of this specific country, so you can just uh, click on this particular country layer here. You'll get the necessary uh, information about that particular country. So it is Sudan. You can see all the necessary details from your attribute table here. It's just like an identity tool that works in uh, ArcMap. So it is Saudi Arabia. Let me close this. And now uh, let me tilt this. And suppose if uh, if you want to go back to the north uh, north direction, so for that we're gonna press N uh, N key in your keyboard. Let me press press N in my keyboard. So it is in uh, north. It, uh, it automatically it just adjusted to north direction. So in this video, I have shown you uh, the different tools in uh, the 3D environment in RGIS Pro, and also we have converted our 2D uh, the country's layer to a, a 3D uh, layer in uh, RGIS Pro. So thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.